there's a lot of language out there that when you get any kind of fascia therapy, it helps you release the toxins from your body. I don't even understand that sentence. So, so toxins are actually, um, so for instance, a toxin everybody's kind of familiar with, Botox, okay? It's a toxin that injected into you will paralyze your muscle, okay? Uh, a botulism in food is a form of toxin that could make you severely ill, possibly paralyze, and even kill you, some of them. So you don't have these kind of things just randomly floating in your system, okay, number one. And if you do have a fascial restriction, okay, which is causing some chronic pain, and we help you release that, you will feel better. But it's not because when we give you a stretch or do any manipulation, we're magically uh, releasing some toxins here, okay? It's simply not a mechanism that exists, okay? Now, the reason it's not that bad to say it because nothing really bad happens except for the fact that it's highly inaccurate. Now, it is bad if someone is telling you that it's going to affect your autoimmune condition or your thyroid condition or your um, chronic fatigue because it's going to release your toxins. Now we're basically throwing, uh, it's word soup or salad, okay? So no, when you hear those kind of lines, walk away from whatever advertisement that is or practice that is, okay? I don't recommend it because it's not actually possible to do that, okay? Now, what does happen if you have a restriction, and it's very visual, do we think that air is going to have really good circulation of uh, blood and of lymph in an area that's doing this? No. So 100%, if you're more balanced and means you have more room and you're standing up tall and you've got better quality, you could breathe better and all of that, and you're not being squeezed like this, you'll have better circulation there, which will mean your body can essentially work optimally. But it's not taking the toxins from there. It's simply better circulation, better tissue healing as a result, etc.